So it's kind of the Wikipedia of maps. It's open sourced or crowdsourced people. Uh, every, anyone can contribute to it as long as you log in. Uh, it is the opportunity for someone to create a map that was really created in the UK initially. Uh, so OpenStreetMap has raw data that has additional information that traditional mapping providers like Naptap and Teleatlas aren't providing, such as pedestrian walkways and parking lots and where the light rail stations are. So there's a lot of additional content that you really don't see in traditional street map products. And there are pluses and minuses with being able to edit. Uh, but one of the things that we're looking at at MapQuest and why we are interested in getting involved is that it doesn't have the licensing restrictions that Nokia and TomTom are putting on the data. And it also gives us the chance to make corrections and edits without having to wait until the larger providers get around to doing them. So some of the things that we're doing is we've launched a version of our mapquest.uk site that is completely on open source data. And the AOL site, patch.com, is completely on open source. This is a sample of our mapquest.uk data that is, uh, is on open source, but we loaded the entire open data set. So if you pan, pan over to Denver, you've still got the same data for Denver in the open source community. So the reason we started in the UK, the data quality in the UK is, uh, in all of Europe, is really good. And in the US, things like addressing and the term restrictions aren't quite so good. So what can MapQuest do to help speed up the adoption of OSM? We see three things, reach, infrastructure, and tools. By reach, MapQuest touches 50 million unique visitors every month, and that's a good place to start. So it's just getting the word out to a lot more people. Uh, we're also using the patch.com, which is AOL's hyper-local area to, to extend the reach. But we're also trying to do things like contributing back into the open source community, both both the content, but also the applications. So we published a free set of map tiles based on this on Akamai so that anybody can use uh, restriction free. We've also load, loaded up, this is the Map Kibera project, which is a uh, mapping in Kenya that are, is using our style files. And we're loading up tools for OSM, such as MapNIC is the map display nominator, is the search tools. We're trying to make additional uh, improvements to these. And there's a data collection tool called Potlatch, which is one of the main editing tools. This is something that's been stuck for uh, in development for about three, three years, the, the Potlatch 2.0 release. We're helping get that released next month and are going to try to uh, continue improvements on that to make it easier to edit the data. So will AOL use it? We already are in some places on MapQuest.com. We're going to launch additional European sites, but we really don't see it in the US yet because of the things like the term restrictions and the addressing. But we think that we can help get it there faster by participating in the project rather than just sitting on the sidelines and hoping that the data gets better. So we want to get the word out about it, OSM, and let you know how you can participate too. So can you provide edits and traces? <coughs> Where there's an OSM meetup group that we've started uh, that it's not, has nothing to do with MapQuest. It's just a bunch of people that are interested in making this data better. We meet on the second Tuesday of every month. Check it out on the meetup site. And please let me know if you have any other additional questions. <laughs>